Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on DuckDuckGo and how to use it, specifically if you're using a Mac. So if you're using a Mac in Safari, uh, the steps to adding DuckDuckGo to your browser are a little bit different than if you're using Chrome or another browser like Firefox maybe. Um, so I just wanna give you guys a look at what DuckDuckGo looks like when you're using a Mac with Safari as your browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you guys so you can see what I'm looking at here. And this is what you'll see if you visit DuckDuckGo um, from a Mac with Safari, if you haven't been to the site before. Uh, sometimes if you have a cookie from DuckDuckGo, you'll get a different homepage that's a little cleaner that gets rid of all this information down here. So you'll see there's a search bar here, which you can use um, to search obviously. Um, and then if you want, you can click add DuckDuckGo to Safari and that gives you instructions on how to set DuckDuckGo as your default search engine. So you won't have to go to DuckDuckGo.com every time you search, you can just search up in the address bar. Um, there's also instructions for how to set DuckDuckGo as your homepage. Um, so as soon as you open your browser, you'll have DuckDuckGo there and ready to go. Um, so I've kind of run through this content before, um, but DuckDuckGo offers a browser extension that basically just switches everything over to DuckDuckGo. So when you search, um, your browser won't by default go to Google, it'll go to DuckDuckGo. Um, it looks like they also have tracker blocking and like HTTPS redirection enabled in their extension. And it's available for, I think, most browsers. So um, if you're looking to use the internet a little more privately, DuckDuckGo's extension is probably a good place to start. Um, obviously, in the middle, DuckDuckGo is a private search engine. Um, they offer an app, which is available for mobile devices, which I think is super useful, um, especially because some phones kind of make it hard to add new browsers for some reason. I mean, obviously, they want you to use their default browser and so they can collect whatever information or you know make revenue or whatever um, so if you want to search privately from a mobile device DuckDuckGo's mobile app is a great way to go um, DuckDuckGo doesn't store your information ever <clears throat> um, add DuckDuckGo to Safari again if you're interested in doing that and then some FAQs down here um, so I guess I'll just give you a quick example of what it looks like when you search from DuckDuckGo. So let's say I'm shopping for Apple computers. Um, just to show you what shopping results look like because some private search engines really struggle with uh, shopping results. But as you can see here, there's at least some results showing up from Walmart and then this other provider here. Um, and then, yeah, you got some ads, few ads, and then the Apple site itself. So. Um, at least they make it pretty easy to find what you're looking for. Uh, as I've said before in other videos, I'm a pretty big fan of DuckDuckGo as far as private search engines go. I think its results are pretty much top notch compared to other private search engines. Um, and they have a lot of interesting functionality. They have like a calculator, um, I think some other widgets that are kind of interesting. Um, especially if you're like a software engineer, programmer, if you write code, uh, DuckDuckGo can help you out with that a lot. So I really recommend it for, you know, most internet users. I think it's user-friendly enough now to uh, fit most of your needs if you're just an average internet user. But if you're, you know, more technically advanced and need a little bit more powerful features or results from your search engine, DuckDuckGo is a good place to go. Um, so yeah, that's what DuckDuckGo looks like um, on a Mac. I'm a big fan of DuckDuckGo. If you're using a Mac, um, you've already taken one step towards, uh, you know, being more private than using a different device uh, that runs Windows. Windows has more privacy issues, honestly, just because there's more users on the platform. Um, so I hope this was informational, helpful for you. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if this, if you've made it this far, like the video and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to spread privacy around the web. Thanks for watching.